Yeah, nice. We can still progress a bit more. And that will be stage 400, by the way. Oof, nice. <laughs> That's a lot of points. What's up, guys? It's Ten Kosh, and it's Advanced Guide for Devil Slayer Idol. I played this game for a couple of days, and now I know most of the things, and I can give you an idea if you want to invest time in it or not. So, right, we will start with the journal. I actually got to journal entry 5 already, and the further you are, the more of those goals you will have to finish. I mean, we got the same amount of goals, but the amount of things you will need to do for each of those will be crazy so we will have to defeat 5000 enemies and you can imagine that it can take a while to do that but the rewards are getting better and better and better and better hopefully we'll get it one day and yeah you should have it at all times and try to follow it when you can so now we have to do 450 summons and i'm not summoning weapons this time because i want to follow the collection because those things will give you nice bonuses when you finish them so what do we need for the next tier of collection? We need the swords and we need the armor. We actually don't have any of those things. Damn. I want this one because it will increase my weapon attack power. So let's get those things. So I'm going for the summon. I'm summoning, uh, I think it was armor there. And we got the 53 summonings for the add though. Right now, we already have the ad in the game. At least the ad worked on my phone. On the emulator, it doesn't work for me. So the game just got stuck. We will just do manual summons. We need, what, uh, 250, right? 450. So there we go. At the point when you will get the highest tier weapon, you don't really need to over summon it anymore because it will be really hard to get the next tier of stuff. So right now, for the weapon, we have the... Uh, chances to get the mythic weapon is 0.02 percent so it's really low and for the equipment we have everything that we need we have a level to educator already i actually transcended it it was a waste of resources mostly and we can't really get the higher tier stuff moreover when you start getting the mythic equipment you can't uh synthesize it anymore so you will have to get it through rng i guess and yeah basically you will get the random type of mythic weapon when you get it and this pair seems to be a better open Option because it gives it nice damage versus boss bonus and possession effect stays for all your mythic weapon because it's possession effect you don't have to equip the weapon to get it that's why i upgraded this one to additional star transcended it so the skill got the bonus for the damage and transcending it higher will give it even more oomph so it's a nice extra damage and yeah when you will be able to get the despair set of boots and gloves that will help you quite a lot because it gives you crazy good critical chance that can improve your damage quite a lot so try to get it when you can we also get the fantastic costume so now it looks good and i won't even do this anymore because in order to progress here you will need to watch ads and unless we have no ad pack that's a waste so other special things that are available in the game we're still losing this that uh you would like to max out critical chance and uh, early on the best way to do that is to invest into luck i know i said it's not the best idea but once your critical damage percentage gets higher this will actually give you more dps then increasing your attack power percentage moreover you can always reset it for 100 devil stone so it's really cheap and you can reassign the points when you want to the ring is growing pretty slow right now because it requires insane amount of money and as you can see i don't have that we got really good bonuses here and the cool thing about the ring that when you ascend it to the next rank you will get higher critical damage as well not just additional damage so that will be really efficient for your overall dps other than that i've encountered that sometimes i miss some of those bingo tickets for the adventure journal so don't rush spending them, guys. You will regret it. So there we go. We completed some collection. Those things are really cool. You will give up the items, but you will get those bonuses. And the nice thing about this is that when you will not have those blue gear, for example, you can easily merge it here, synthesize it for the higher tier gear. So yeah, you might want to lock those items, check the items that you need. For example, we have purple tier 2 boots here and uh, armor purple tier 3 and weapon tier 3. So we will go into equipment, we will go to armor tier 3 and lock it here. We will go to gloves tier 3 and boots tier 2 and lock them. So now when we'll do best synthesize we will not spend those items and uh, we will have them when we will need them for the collection for example now since we're talking about equipment and using that 
Once you will unlock the Reaper, you might want to improve it at the altar end. <laughs> Guys, I thought that when you will do one offering, it will max out. No. Every time, every step, it will require a higher and higher tier of equipment. Now we need the red one and we don't need that many though. But we still need that, so it's pretty expensive, I couldn't manage it. And I guess it's not working really well, because... Yeah, it seems that we need to upgrade it to level 1 to 1 star first, so we will be able to get the Reaper at all. Otherwise, I'm not sure if it's working. I'm not sure about that though, guys, so let me know in the comments if you know about that. Because this is really weird and there is no explanation for that. Although, I got few levels for this in the dungeon. Here in the battle, Reaper's Challenge. Because, well, I've got diamonds as well. Another thing I wanted to mention that for the ranking, as you go higher, you will be able to get stage reward for your highest stage. So it's not for the rank, but for your progression. And the further you are, the more you will get. And it's a really cool thing to do that it's not based on your number of rank it's based on your stage so i like these mechanics outside of that though the game really slowed down like drastically and yeah usually i either like damage or health because as you can see the normal enemies are already doing insane damage to me let's see how the boss fight will go infected trumpet boo let's go we should be okay yeah nice we can still progress a bit more and that will be stage 400 by the way oof nice Oh yeah, additional thing about the stages, as you progress the stages, you will get additional stats, you will get enchantment stone upon summoning equipment, so when you summon you will get extra stones, so those are nice bonuses that you get for progressing the stages. So now, to the important part, the thing is the game really slowed down, I already told about that, and the problem is that you will need a lot of equipment to upgrade different things. I upgraded one of the spells here, because starting with the red legendary spells, you can do awakening for them, that will buff them up. I'm not sure if I can advise you to do that. That costs really important and expensive gear, and you would like to awaken those uh, yellow mythic spells, because those will be your end game spells, not the red ones. And in order to obtain them, you will need a lot of stuff, you will need a lot of that gear. So, can you imagine how much time it will take you to collect that? That will be insane, so start saving up. As for the uh, adventures and dungeons and everything, the normal grow dungeons slow down a lot because I couldn't defeat them, so I'm not getting that much gains from here. Since we don't really get any more buffs for watching ad for free, the time is limited, but those recover pretty fast, it's not a problem. The problem here is this laboratory. It gives you really cool items that upgrade your uh, soul. And the soul will give you damage amplification, so it's just a clear buff when you level it up. It also have additional a tier of those um, potentials that you can roll. So you can go for it and get a really good bonuses, but uh, it's really hard to get. Moreover, as you will upgrade it, you will get the cubes. And this green cube is really good because it kills three enemies instantly. It's really good for some dungeons and it also de deals additional damage to the boss. You can awaken it, but once again, you will need a lot of high tier gear for that, and that will buff its damage considerably. What the hell is cube protection? I'm not sure. Maybe it's protecting me. But yeah, the next one will be defensive, kind of freezes all the enemies, so it's not that crazy. The next uh, useful cu cube will be the level 41, because it will reset the boss skill down. Everything else will just give you health, survivability and that kind of stuff, so not that crazy. I'm not sure, maybe this one will give us some damage as well, but it's not the case for us right now. In any case, even upgrading the soul is good enough. And yeah, as you can see, fights are getting tough, so right now I actually need my health, because the enemies are really close to damaging me or killing me. So I gotta be really careful what I'm doing. So your best bet to progress will be completing the challenges to get your buffs here. Those will be really important, especially the armory and steel guardian buffs. I actually managed to progress five more over here after the upgrades we did with you here in the video. So I might be able to progress them a bit more. Those are new enemies, that's cool. As for the Devil Coin Shop, right now I'm more inclined towards buying laboratory entry tickets. Those things help you out to buff up your soul, that means making you stronger. I haven't actually did a single training so far, so we'll enter training arena once we will reach the limit today with you. You will see it first here. <laughs> but those will only give you gold, XP and uh, enchantment stones. So those are not that crazy. But that should give you the coins though. And there are some requirements. 
Uh, if your recruitment enchantment level is over 200 or if you have over 7.2k enchantment stones, so you will have to spend them before entering and if you are very strong, you won't be able to get access to it as well. I think this is like the mechanics for the newer players to catch up with the higher tier players, but we will see how it will go in the future. So yeah, guys, as you progress, you will have to decide between upgrading the altar, getting the new skills, awakening the old skills and finishing the collection with the gear so you will need a lot a lot a lot a lot of gear in order to progress in all the areas and some of the bonuses here are really insane like weapon attack 10 percent it's crazy getting the new skill might be really useful as well it's 4.6k attack in comparison with what 1.7 1.4k attack for the lowest tier skill but you might be able to skip them although you won't get the awakening buff then so hard to tell what's right and wrong here obviously over time you will get all the skills and everything but now you should prioritize the thing that you need the most my god this enemy is so tough so yeah we've spent everything that we needed to spend let's go and try the training arena oh that's just an afk reward this is convenient and it got us so many levels my god okay that's pretty decent that will give us a lot a lot of stuff in the end because we can use it to open this uh surprise pack we can use it to get our slayer level ups and increase our critical chance by 10 more i will even get a bit strength and dexterity just because i can <laughs> that's a lot of points i'll even obtain the new skill because i can and yeah guys if you would like to increase some specific stat enchantment is the best option so far because here when we upgrade the weapon from this tier to that tier we will get how much is that is it's like more than 10 percent increase i think it, it's 20 percent increase in power and same for the health and yeah at this point you would like to upgrade your health a little bit it should be a legging behind the weapon but not so much otherwise you will be dying too much in the fights look at the amount of money i have we can get this ring all the way to the skies so there we go we got way more bonuses from this ring right now and the critical damage percentage is great so that means that our criticals <laughs> okay okay it's beginning it looks way more fun right now guys yeah <laughs> We should be able to progress a bit more. So yeah, from now on, you will really have to decide what to do with your equipment. I decided to save it up for the skills because I think unlocking the higher tier skills is important, but I might change my mind. I want to finish the Reaper so it will be able to help me and uh, I need some gear for that. And probably after that, we will need uh, some of the golden swords. So it will be like 80 and in order to get 100%, we will need the golden swords. That will be very expensive, but it's necessary because this dude, I mean, it's not that crazy important, but extra DPS will always be useful. If we talk from the point of efficiency, obviously getting those skills with that amount of damage will be more efficient, way more efficient than getting that Reaper thingy. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, try to progress as many stages as possible to unlock as many game mechanics as possible. Training arena is insane. I had no idea that it will be that useful. It gave us so many levels, like 100 levels, basically. That would take more than a day i'm not sure how much time it will give us and one arena ticket is 12,000 devil coins it's expensive but it's actually worth it as well so yeah outside of that just push forward and don't forget to update your attributes once you will get to 100 percent critical so they won't be wasted here and try those adventures from time to time because you will get stronger and you will be able to get more rewards you will be able to get more stuff and that will make you move more stages as well and get more rewards oh by the way if you need to destroy a lot of weak enemies and the enemies you are facing are taking too long you can select the different stage here of course that's uh, less rewards but if you want to rush the defeat enemy go there and remove the progress and then you will just one shot the enemies that will be way faster than just trying to progress like you usually are doing <laughs> and yeah if you want to play the game on the pc like i do over here you can download the ld player emulator from the link in the video description also you can find their other 
guides in the playlist, my other YouTube channels, social media, and Discord. Other than that, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thank you very much for watching. It's been Stan Kosh. Have a good one. Bye.